Good day, everyone. In this video, we're going to see okay, how to work with uh, a section state. Okay. Uh, first of all, you can see from the uh, subtitle over here, okay, uh, we need to configure uh, the app okay, to use the section state. Okay. Then we'll see okay, how to work with the uh, section state uh, items okay, in the controller along with other topic. Okay. Yeah. So again, okay, this is the uh, picture. Okay. A screenshot picture I took okay, from the YouTube by this uh, uh, presenter. Okay, all company get a code uh, semantic. I mentioned about uh, you can again get a uh, pass data or share data. Okay, uh, using state okay, uh, between controllers. Get okay, all controllers to the view. Get okay, all view okay, uh, again. Get. Okay, uh, to the parents' views okay, and their views, okay. So this section okay, uh, state okay, uh, is very okay, uh, useful, okay. Yeah. So let's see okay, uh, okay, uh, how to configure the uh, section state. Okay. So by default, the section state is not enabled. Okay. So to enable it, okay, you need to add a code uh, to the configuration uh, service okay, function okay, and also. Uh, config uh, methods, okay, sorry, methods not functions okay, in the startup okay, uh, folder, okay? And then okay, you have to add okay, uh, this statement okay, and this statement okay, into the uh, config services. We will see some examples in a minute. Okay, and then this statement get okay, into the uh, config uh, method, okay? But then again, uh, the uh, location is very okay, uh, important, okay? Yeah. And then also get okay, uh you can change the default settings settings okay, for uh the uh, section state again get okay, uh here will be some examples but then in due time get okay, we'll talk about it okay in due time we'll talk about it all right okay so okay uh, let's see okay, how to config uh the app to use the uh, section state okay so this is step one okay again in the startup file okay then you have to add those two statements but then again, I mentioned it, uh, the location is very important. So you have to add those two statements okay, uh, before okay, the service dot a controllers okay, with views. Okay, so this is okay, again very important. Okay, so let's get uh, fired up okay, our app okay, to uh, okay, uh, see the code in action. Okay, yeah, so let me create one okay, and then let me call it okay, uh, my section. Okay. Uh, demo get okay, uh, zero one yeah and I click create and I don't think that I need to use the uh, uh, secure connection so I would remove the check mark to speed up at the time okay all right okay, and then the app is up okay and then uh, usually I will uh, run the app to make sure everything works fine okay to start with okay. Okay, so far so good. All right, the browser loaded. Okay, and then show this welcome page. Okay, good news. Okay, and then let's go to the uh, startup file, and then you can see that okay, uh, in the startup file. Okay, I uh, we want to add two statements okay, into the config services okay, uh, method. Okay, but has to be before. Okay, this statement. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to copy and paste. I'm not very good at typing, okay? So thanks to the publisher, okay? Uh, to prepare those uh, slides, okay? So let me paste it over there, okay? And then uh, I usually will, okay, again, do a build, okay? Yeah. So one succeeded, okay, so far so good. But then another statement we have to add into the uh, config file. But then before, okay, kind of before the uh, endpoints, okay, yeah. So let's get go down to the next one, okay. So part two, okay, it say that okay, we have to add this okay, use okay, section, okay, yeah. But then before the app dot use uh, endpoints method, okay. So let me do that, okay. So go back to the app, okay, and then add this statement there, okay, and then again. I will also uh, make sure that I build it, okay, make sure that uh, all the compilation are fine, okay? All right, okay, so far so good, okay. Then, okay, uh, again, uh, you can do some uh, uh, okay, uh, customization if you want to, okay? Otherwise, okay, by default, the information, okay, uh, 
Uh, the session information stored at the server side will last for about 20 minutes. Okay, then it will be automatically removed. But again, uh, we'll talk about this one later, okay? Yeah, so, so far so good. Okay, we have configured uh, an app to use the uh, section state already. So let's see okay, again okay, uh, how to okay, uh, create some uh, section information, okay? So next one I mentioned about, okay, uh, to create okay, uh, or set or re retrieve okay, some section information, uh, you can use okay, syntax like this. Okay? So this one is in the controller, okay? Then you can call the HTTP context dot the property, okay, then a section, then uh, if you want to retrieve the value, get okay, integer value, you can call the method get in 32 followed by the key, okay? okay sorry, get is here, okay? Uh, here, okay, followed by the key, okay, uh, again, okay, uh, defined by you. Or if you want to retrieve the uh, string value, then you can use the get string okay, and key. You want to set okay, the integer value, you can use uh, set in 32 and the key pip by you, value pip by you, and then the string, you can use this approach, okay. And then how about the view? Okay, if you want to, in the view, if you want to display the value or retrieve the value, then you can use context.section.get. Uh, depends on the value, could be, uh, if it's integer, you call the get in 32 method followed by the key. If it's string, then you call the get string, okay? So let's see some okay, uh, examples, okay? Let's see some examples. Okay, so again, get yeah, in the controller, okay, then you can call the HTTP context dot section dot whatever method get okay, to set or get, okay, yeah. And then in the view, okay, then you call the context dot section dot, okay, whatever, okay, again, okay, highly likely is the uh, read value, okay, get value, okay. So, okay, again, in the controller, you use the class name HTTP context, but then in the view, you use just context, that's all, okay? So let's get, uh, again get, uh, move on to the uh, next one. Here will be some uh, examples, but then uh, remember that okay, in the okay, controller, uh, you have to include okay, this okay, uh, uh, namespace, okay? Using this okay, uh, namespace, okay? Yeah, uh, again, we'll see some uh, examples in a minute. And then in the view, okay, yeah, you have to okay, include this okay, add using uh, again this namespace, okay, or you want to call it uh, using directive, okay, yeah, up to you. So let's see some okay, uh, code okay, in action, okay. Okay, so I have okay, some uh, example here, okay. So let me just okay, again okay, quickly okay, uh, uh, copy some code, okay, and then I will. Uh, give you the uh, explanation in a minute. Okay, yeah. So let me try this one. Okay, should be fine. Okay. Yeah, so let me go back to my controller. Okay, the home controller. Okay. Yeah. And then let me just get, okay, uh, yeah, those will be fine. Yeah. Paste it. Okay. Yeah. So it's almost the same, okay, like the default one, but then except that, okay, over here, okay, I defined uh, a kind of uh, okay, uh, uh, a property, okay, and then okay, try to keep the visitors, okay, uh, uh, visited time. Okay. Yeah. A string data type. And then in the uh, home controller, okay, then I again okay, uh, initialize the uh, first visited time okay, by the user, okay, and store into the visited okay, time variable. And then in the uh, index okay, method, okay, then again, I mentioned it, okay, we have to, uh, if you want to okay, uh, set a cookie, set a section or get the value from a section, then you have to use the HTTP context, okay? The compiler complaint right now, which is correct, okay? Yeah, because okay, as we mentioned over here, okay, in the controller, we have to include okay, uh, this uh, class. We'll do that in a minute, okay? Yeah. And then again, okay, uh, in the very beginning, okay, I want to make sure that okay, uh, the uh, uh, the the uh, uh, there is no okay, uh, uh, if if okay, if okay, again 
uh, there is no section has been defined yet. Okay, for example, uh, key name picked by you. Okay, then okay, uh, I want to set okay, the uh, key. Okay, again, uh, name picked by you. I just call it any key. Okay, and then with the value of the current visit time. Okay, so again, okay, uh, I'm going to okay, uh, include the uh, namespace. Okay, so over here is suggested. Okay, hey, please include is using. Uh, Microsoft SP uh, net core HTTP. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so now, okay, boom, it's gone. Okay, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so uh, can we run it? Yeah, yeah, we, we can run it. Okay, we can run it. Okay, but then uh, we, we are not going to see the information here. So I'm going to go to the view. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go to the view. Okay. Uh, the index okay, uh, C sharp okay, HTML view okay yeah and then I'm going to display okay, the uh, information okay yeah so give me a minute okay yeah so let me copy okay, and paste this one and then okay, set it to the view okay here okay okay so just to remind you that okay, uh, the PowerPoint set it in the view okay in the view okay yeah in the view, make sure that okay, you add okay, this statement. Okay, yeah. So if we look back to my sample here, okay, there you go. Okay, I have added okay, this statement, and what I wanted to do okay, is that okay, in the view, okay, okay, I want to display okay, the uh, <clears throat> uh, client, okay, uh, all the browsers visited the time. Okay, yeah, and then again to retrieve the value. Then I can use this get okay, uh, uh, razor syntax add context dot section get okay, dot get string get okay, and then what key value the key value will be the one get okay, I set over here okay yeah so I set this value okay yeah and then get okay, again I display the value get okay, then I set up another link get okay, which is uh, to get okay, uh, uh, displayed get okay, uh, the uh, index. Two dash sharp view. I hadn't done it yet. Okay, it's fine. Okay, yeah. So let's run it. Okay, let's run it. Yeah. So let me run the app. Okay. So boom, that's it. Okay. So you can see that uh, that is how easy it is okay, to get uh, uh, set okay, uh, the section. Okay, to set the section, and then uh, again use whatever key of your liking, and then it set get okay, retrieve the current time. Okay all the visit time stored in the key and then display it, get okay, displayed it okay, in the uh okay oh sorry okay display it okay, in the uh, browser okay yeah in the browser okay in the browser okay so again okay, this is the uh, current time okay current time and then uh, again get okay, uh, uh based on the slides get okay, uh, over here give me a minute okay uh, we mentioned that uh, you can use a uh, section okay, uh, okay, uh, method okay, to share information uh, with okay, uh, different controller and with different views. Uh, we will use different views. Okay. We will uh, uh, use examples on different views first. Okay, yeah. So, okay, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. Okay, yeah. Okay, but then I want you to know that okay, uh, you can see that uh, this is the information get okay, related to the uh, current okay, uh, uh, browser. Okay, yeah. So let me do the screenshot here. Okay, do the screenshot here. Okay, yeah. Okay, to show you the time. Okay, so now okay, let's say that okay, if I okay, use okay, uh, another browser. Okay, so if I use the uh, Microsoft Edge. Okay, yeah. If I use Microsoft Edge. And then I try to okay, visit okay, uh, the same application. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. Okay, yeah. So you see that okay, uh, it display a okay, uh, different time. Okay, so again, okay, uh, that's why okay, in one of the okay, explanation explanation over here. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, I mentioned it. Okay. okay the section information okay, only associated with the user's current current okay, web browser okay so okay again even though okay, the uh, google chrome and then the uh, microsoft, uh, microsoft edge okay, they visit the same application you can see that the port number okay, are the same okay 
the phone number, okay, uh, both phone numbers are the same, but then you can see that the information retrieved okay, are different. Okay, the information retrieved is different because okay, uh, this is the current browser. Okay, this is another okay, browser. Okay, so they are different things. Okay, and then again, okay, you say, well, okay, then how about okay, uh, if you okay, uh, close the browser? Okay, if you close the browser and then get okay, uh, fired up, okay, uh, the browser, Google Chrome browser again, and visit the same website, okay, then what information okay, uh, will you get, okay? So let me show you, okay, the information, and okay, then you can see that, okay, uh, it is 921, the old one is 915, 917, okay? So again, uh, okay, this definition, okay, uh, is very, okay, uh, uh, important to understand, okay, uh, again, for new users, uh, it's kind of a little bit confusing, okay, okay but then, okay, uh, I hope that through the examples, okay, I showed it to you a moment ago, you can understand that the section information, okay, uh, is related to the current okay, browser. Once the uh, browser is closed, okay, or you fired up another browser, boom, Okay, no, okay, I mean, the information will be gone, okay, yeah. All right, get okay, back to okay, our uh, example over here, okay, yeah, back to our example over here. So a moment ago, okay, I just show you, okay, that uh, the uh, section information can be shared between the controller and the, okay, uh, okay the view, all right? But then how about, okay, uh, with another view? Right, okay, with another view, okay. So I'm going to create okay, uh, another okay, uh, method, okay. Let me create another method, yeah. So let me okay, uh, go back to my controller, okay. And then I have index okay, method here, okay. Let me call this one index two, but then I'm not going to uh, retrieve any value. And then let me again, because uh, for the sake of time, okay. So uh, let me okay, create another view as well. Okay, yeah. The uh, okay, index okay, two view. Okay, yeah. So let me copy. Okay, and then okay. Uh, okay, again. Okay, let me duplicate okay, this file. Okay, yeah. So let me save this one as okay. Index two. Okay. And then let me paste the file there. Okay, yeah, so this will be, oops, sorry, wrong one, okay, my bad, yeah. So this will be index two, C sharp, okay, file, okay, yeah. And then the contents are pretty much similar to uh, index, get okay, dot C sharp, get okay, the first view. I just try to okay, find out the, um, the uh, uh, vi first visit okay, uh, uh, time, okay, system time, okay? Yeah, all right, okay, so uh, let me run it, okay? Let me run it, yeah. Okay, so okay, again, okay, let me take a screenshot, okay? So, okay, uh, you can keep a comparison, okay? Yeah, so you can see that the uh, uh, visit time, okay, uh, it is 9.23, okay, 50 seconds, okay? And then okay, uh, this information, uh, the view got this information from the controller, right? Or the controller's index method. How about that, okay, uh, if I click this hyperlink, then it will call okay, uh, the index2 method. And then the index2, okay, that C sharp okay, uh, HTML file okay, will be displayed. But then let's see whether it has it can get the same information or not, okay, from the section okay, uh, technique. Okay, so let me okay, show the, uh, the, uh, the the screenshot, okay, yeah. Okay, so you can see that, ah, I mean, uh, the information can be shared among the views, okay, yeah, among the views. So this is uh, it's kind of index two view, okay, but then again, uh, the, uh, a section information can be shared, okay? And then how about okay, uh, another okay, index method? Okay, sure, okay, I mean, uh, I can, again, okay, uh, uh, create another one, okay? Create another one, okay, so index three, okay, give me a minute. Go back to the uh, controller, okay, and then add the index three action method, okay? And then I will do the same, okay, this time I'm going to copy, 
Okay, and paste, okay, yeah. I'm going to rename the view, okay, is index three, okay, shoe shop, okay. All right, okay, yeah. So let me see, yeah, I have to paste the code here, okay. So this will be the view, okay, yeah. The view for, okay, uh, the uh, index three shush shop HTML file, okay. So give me a minute, okay, yeah. Let me copy and paste, yeah, there you go. All right, okay, so okay, again, okay, let's okay, rerun the app, okay, yeah, rerun the app. All right, okay, so this is a new uh, uh, connection, okay, let me take the screenshot, okay, yeah, okay, take the screenshot, okay, so current uh, busy information, okay, in the uh, section, okay, is, okay, uh, 926, okay, 23, okay, and then let me navigate okay, into the uh, second view. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you can see that uh, second view, okay, uh, retrieve the uh, same okay, information stored in the section. Okay, yeah. Uh, set it up okay, in the index uh, uh, action uh, method. Okay, same time. How about the uh, index three view? Okay, boom. Again, okay, yeah, you can see that uh, it, it has the same time, okay? It has the same information, okay? And then how about another controller, okay? So I hadn't created this one yet, okay? So if I click on it, it will crash, okay? So let me okay, again okay, uh, create another controller. Let me see what is the name I use, okay? So it's product, okay? Yeah, so product, okay, yeah. So let me create a new controller, okay? Let me call it product, okay, yeah. Empty controller will be fine, yeah. And then let me call it product controller. And then click add, okay. Okay, and then it has one index okay, uh, method, but then let me okay, set up the view okay, I want, okay, yeah. So this will be the, okay, let me see, okay. Oh yeah, let me try this to add the view, okay? So add the view, okay, yeah. Yep, there you go. So you will create a folder, okay, a product, okay, under the uh, views, okay? And then there is a view, okay, index, okay, she shop, okay, file there. And let me just paste, okay? Uh, again, anytime, okay, uh, during this video, feel free to pause the video to see the code, okay? Yeah, so you can see that uh, this okay, index dash uh, HTML file under the uh, related to the uh, product controller. Uh, it try to retrieve the uh, same information. Okay, yeah. So again, okay, let me run it again. Okay, let me run it again. Yeah. Okay. So let me take the screenshot. Okay. Yeah. On this one. This time. Okay. All right, okay, so it's 929.01, okay. Go to the next one, okay. Then you can see from the screenshot, okay, they share the uh, same okay, uh, uh, section information, okay. In this okay, index two view, okay. How about index three view, okay. Same information, how about another controller, all right? Okay, another controller. So you can see that this is another controller. Okay, and then let's check the time. Ah, there you go. Okay, so you can see that, okay, uh, this confirmed, okay, kind of, okay, our uh, assumption here that, uh, okay, uh, the, uh, uh, you can use the uh, section, okay, uh, uh, technique, okay, to share information among controllers and then, okay, uh, between controller and views, okay, between and views, okay. But again, uh, once you close the uh, browser, okay, once you close the browser, okay, then get okay, all the information okay, will be gone. Okay, yeah. And then uh, get okay, over here. Okay, uh, you say that okay, how do okay, how do I okay, find out that uh, uh, the uh, section? Okay, uh, give me a minute. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, how do I find out that uh, uh, the uh, okay, kind of the 
uh, the information here. Give me a minute. Oops, get who it. Okay, let me see. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, so over here it said that okay, section state. Okay, okay. Again, get okay, uh walks by. Get okay, also using a cookie to associate the users. Get okay, uh current browser. Get okay, with the correct section data. Okay, so let me quickly get okay, show you. Get okay, how do you find it out? Okay, yeah. So you can. I'm using Google Chrome, but then you can right click the mouse button and pick inspect. Okay. And then go to the uh, application, okay? Go to the application, and then you can see that uh, there is a, a cookie, okay? And then once you click okay, this one, okay, this is the current uh, application, okay, we are running, okay? Then you can see that, ah, there you go, okay? So under this, get okay, expire, stop, get okay, rid of the cookie, uh, that is the one, okay? Uh, again, okay, we use okay, uh, or we set it up okay, uh, for our application. And then again, cookie values okay, are encrypted. Okay, so this is okay, hard to read. Okay, this is hard to read. Yeah. So I think that uh, okay, I hope that uh, you, you got some idea about okay, uh, how to okay, uh, again okay, uh, set up a cookie. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let me see. Okay, and let me go back to the right code. Okay to show you the example, okay, yeah. So you can use okay, set uh, string or set in 32 pick by a key and a value okay, uh, to set the section okay, in your controller. And in, in your controller, if you want to read, okay, then you can use get string and then the key, or if you want to use read the uh, integer value, then you use uh, get in 32 and then the key get okay, set by you. And then in the view, okay, in the view, okay, yeah, in the view, then use, uh, you use context, okay, this is different than uh, HTTP context, okay, so this class, okay, uh, you use this one in the controller, and then in the view, okay, you use context, okay, that section, if you need to get the string, okay, then you use get string, and then followed by the key as the parameter, if you want to get the integer value, then you use get int, int 32, and then the key okay, is a parameter, okay? So I think that will be all okay, for about okay, how to use okay, uh, uh, sections okay, as for, okay, again, okay, as for uh, how to customize it. Okay, uh, okay, um, then okay, I will talk about it okay, in uh, another video, okay? Yeah, so let me stop the video right now, yeah.